He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gladiator, he's bested Thor, he's thrown down with Odin, and even captured Galactus. Let's get into the video and find out who is Annihilus. A millennia ago, a race of beings known as the Tyannans traveled the negative zone using advanced technology to seed its desolate worlds with life. The Tyannan ship was hit by a meteor and crashed onto the volcanic planet of Arthos. Stranded there, they released their remaining life spores onto the planet. The Tyannans eventually went on to die of starvation, but centuries later, the spores began to evolve. One, in particular, evolved into an extremely intelligent insectoid who would become known as Annihilus. As Annihilus was searching for shelter from the cold, he came across the wreckage of the Tyannan ship. Inside the ship, he found a helmet that transferred the knowledge of all Tyannans to him. Then using the technology on the ship, he created the Cosmic Control Rod, which gave him the ability to harness the cosmic energy of the Negative Zone. He can then use this energy in a variety of ways. He can use it to increase his strength, speed, and durability, fire energy blast, siphon energy from others, manipulate matter, and teleport throughout the negative zone. The rod also stunts his aging, granting him an extremely long lifespan. He also constructed himself an exoskeleton that further increased his strength and durability. Annihilus quickly became obsessed with immortality. He began a quest to destroy and conquer any and everything he perceived to be a threat to him. While doing so, he amassed a massive army. Annihilus later had his first encounter with beings from outside the Negative Zone when Mr. Fantastic, the Human Torch, and the Thing ventured into the Negative Zone. The trio was there searching for antiparticles to treat Sue Richards. They were captured by Annihilus's minions and taken to Annihilus. The trio eventually escaped, and as they did, Mr. Fantastic was able to steal the Cosmic Control Rod from Annihilus. They were quickly tracked down by Annihilus, who was intent on reacquiring his control rod. After Mr. Fantastic siphoned the antiparticles they needed from the control rod, he struck a deal with Annihilus. They returned the cosmic control rod to Annihilus as soon as they were a safe distance away. But since that first encounter, Annihilus has become a constant threat to the Fantastic Four, as he consistently attempted to enter the main universe. Annihilus has since had run-ins with the original Captain Marvel, Marvel, Rick Jones, the Avengers, and more. Annihilus would soon become a deadly threat to the entire main Marvel universe. When Annihilus realized that the main universe was slowly spreading into the negative zone, he mobilized his massive army dubbed the Annihilation Wave. Annihilus and his army punched through the boundary separating the two universes. The Annihilation Wave quickly decimated the entire Nova Corps and the Scroll Empire. Battling Annihilus took the combined efforts of a slew of characters like Nova, Ronan, Galactus, Silver Surfer, Terax, Quasar, Philavel, Stardust, and more. In the end, the Annihilation Wave was defeated and Annihilus was killed by Nova. But Annihilus was soon reborn as an infant, still retaining all of his memories from his previous life. Somehow, Annihilus is consistently reborn every time he dies, in essence, making him immortal. Hopefully, Annihilus will show up in the MCU as the big bad at some point. If they do it right, he could be as big a threat as Thanos was, or even bigger. Well, that's the origin of Annihilus, and that's a wrap for this video. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and leave a comment down below. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.